Hello and welcome to this week's Trading the Trend on Wednesday, the 21st of February. Now, at the end of uh, January, we went long New York cotton futures. And as you can see here on the daily financial bet chart, that was the perfect trade because we basically went long down here and had an upside target at 90. But that one we let run, as I said last week. And um, we did so with the view that we would get out once we would fall below a previous day's low. And that then happened on Friday of last week. So uh, we made a very, very substantial profit on this trade. The week after, we uh, bought dollar yen and uh, we did so around 147.90. Since then, we've seen a nice advance to around the 150 yen mark. Perhaps it's time to get out of this trade now because we're losing upside momentum because of verbal intervention by um, uh, the Japanese finance minister. And ahead of this evening's uh, FOMC minutes, we could see some US dollar volatility as well. So perhaps it's time now to cash this trade in. So that's another profitable trade we've had on. And then um, we also had one from the 14th of um, February going long uh, dollar Canada, as you can see here. And uh, that one is slightly underwater at the moment. Um, but what we can do now is raise our uh, stop loss level to uh, just below uh, the uptrend line and the low from last Thursday. So uh, to around 100, uh, 134. Um, let me just have a quick look at that where this is. 134.60. That could be uh, a um, stop loss for this uh, trade at the moment. And for this week's uh, trading the trend, what I would like to do is to uh, buy the NASDAQ 100 ahead of NVIDIA earnings as the um, uh, NASDAQ share price, uh, yes, fell through its uptrend line, but it did so in a zigzag fashion. Here you can see a best possible Elliott Wave ABC correction, which would mean that we should resume our ascent, provided we stay below uh, or above yesterday's low. So for that technical reason, I'd like to buy the NASDAQ 100 with a stop loss, but only on a daily chart closing basis, because we might see a lot of volatility around the FOM minutes below yesterday's low and an upside target above the record highs.